Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what we're going to look at is a scenario which, you know, to use my Judge Judy analogy, real cases, real people, um, actually came up from, um, you know, a customer I had as a follow up question in class. So this person had a list of projects and he had a number of target numbers and then there was actuals. And then there was some of them that was like N.A. OK, so there was a text entry. So essentially what he wanted to happen was that if, for example, the actual is greater than the target, he wants it to go red. OK, so let's do that first of all. So I'll just highlight my block here and then I go to home, conditional formatting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to new rule. Okay. And then I'm going to go down to use a formula to determine which cells to format. So I click here, click down this one equals. And if I want to say if this one here, and if you notice here, when I bring it in, it brings it in as a locked cell. So I need to press F4 on the keyboard until it reads dollar a six dollar six sorry dollar c six greater than or equal to and then the one beside it and again i just use my f4 to kind of unlock it so it's only to the column and then what i want to do is say format and make it go red and here we're going to go for what i call my quentin tarantino arterial blood red look click okay like you know you can't miss it kind of thing okay and then i click okay now, you can see straight away we have a bit of a problem here in that it's also colored the NAs as well. All right. So what we actually need to do, OK, and I kind of discovered this as I was came across the issue, is that we need to put in a new rule into our list of rules that says if the entry is text, just stop the conditional formatting. Just don't do any more conditional formatting on it. So the way we do that is we go up here to conditional formatting and I go down to manage rules. And there I have my rule done it in it already. And I go to new rule. The thing I want you to notice here is there's a box here that says stop if true. OK, so I go to new rule and it says use a formula and I use a function called is text is T E X T. And this basically says, is this entry a text? Yes or no. So I click here, use my F4 to lock it. And close my bracket. Now, the thing then is that I don't want any formatting on it. All right, so essentially I just don't want any formatting. So I leave this on set and then I click OK. OK, and the thing I need to do then here is that I need to come over here and I say stop if true. Now, if you find for some reason this rule hasn't appeared here, you can use these arrows here to move the rule up or down. What you want it to do is that you want the very first rule that you have here to be the one is text. So in other words, if it looks at it and says it's text, no conditional formatting, just and you just say stop if true, click apply. And then OK. Now you can see here straight away, we've got our numbers all still going on, but it's no longer applying the formatting to the NA. Right? OK, so I hope you find this useful. And as always, I appreciate your feedback and comments. Mind yourself. Take care. Bye.